Hello guys, today I got the EP ever LS1024B PWM charger. It got damaged from the thunder strike and the MOSFET is damaged. Today I'm going to replace it from an alternative MOSFET. After removing the two screws, remove the back plate. It's also the heat sink of this charger and here you can see the inside. Remove this separating thermal pad and this white thermal pad. It's the sensor for the heat sink of this charger. And here I have replaced the damaged MOSFET from an alternative MOSFET. It's IRF is at 44N. Here I have attached 12 volt barrel jack to the battery port to check the circuit board. This is the original MOSFET, came with the charger from the factory. Here you can see both MOSFETs are in the same package size and their gate drain and source are also the same so you can easily switch MOSFETs to one another here the gate voltage is 7 volts make sure you refer both data sheets of the MOSFETs before switching your one may differ from the my one from the factory okay let's assemble this thing up before assembling i'm going to show you how this thing switch your load on and off here in this charger they use a in channel mosfet which switches the ground side of your load so this is a common positive charger so this battery negative is connected where the MOSFET to the load ok guys let's apply thermal paste to all the MOSFETs and place the separator thermal pad before installing the heat sink you must place that separator pad otherwise the, all the MOSFETs will be shorted where the heat sink and also apply thermal paste again and place that thermal pad on that sensor to have a good reading about the temperature of the heat sink here I am placing the heat sink and passing the two screws Here I have attached the charger back to the panel. Here you can see the load switching works fine. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe.